It has been a deadly week in Lexington. Dozens of people in Lexington's Winburn neighborhood got together at the Stop and Shop convenience store tonight to remember one of the victims, James Blair. There was a vigil and a balloon release in his honor this evening. Police believe that Blair was gunned down early Sunday morning in a downtown parking garage. ABC 36's Diane Gerstenfeld has more on how people are remembering the father of two in our top story at 11. He cried to the Lord, but his cry, it was too late. Emotions are still raw after the death of 27-year-old James Blair. It's going to be so hard. It is. It's going to be so hard. The rapture came, and he carried that man away. It's hard because James was a, a loving and good guy. Uh, everybody loved James. Everybody loved him. He was a good guy. He do anything in the world for anybody. And he was beloved by many in the Winburn community. He was always there. If you needed somebody to lean on, he was there. Police believe Blair was gunned down in the parking lot of Chase Bank on East Main Street. Officers responded to reports of gunfire at the parking lot around 2 a.m. Sunday morning. Just minutes later, police say Blair was dropped off at a nearby hospital. He was then transferred to UK, where he later died from a gunshot wound to the stomach. Let them know, Heavenly Father, yes. that you can run, Jesus. but you sure can't hide. Jesus. Police have identified a possible person of interest in this case and are urging anyone with information to come forward. It's very difficult for us to uh, go to bed at night without crying, wake up, we crying. I mean, it's, it's difficult, very difficult. Look, JCR, you see them cameras? Oh, you waving? <laughs> Two baby boys are now without a father, and a community is heartbroken, rocked by the death of James Blair and pregnant mother Mariah Coleman, shot and killed just down the street last month. It's a war, and we need all of us to just stop. Oh, what a way to lose the one you love. In Lexington, Diane Gersenfeld, ABC 36 News.